Mr. Mohammad Nurul Islam, Managing Director of Act Limited, to come up on stage and say a few words. Honorable Chick Bist, uh, and uh, honorable uh, panelists, our industry colleagues, and uh, students. So actually, uh, uh, our keynote speaker already uh, explained the IoT products. So I actually am the Nurul Islam, Managing Director of CS, CX Limited. We are also working with the uh, IoT products, uh, like different sensors, uh, different uh, communication products, and all these things. Especially, uh, um, I also have an IoT uh, product is smart electric meter, and I am actually working with uh, Polybidu Shamiti Rural Electrification Board for many years. So, actually, IoT how IoT is working with uh, our lifestyle that is the uh, today's topics. So, I just want to introduce you uh, the electric meter, which actually already our keynote speakers uh, explain the things. But still, I want to uh, show a small uh, presentation that how this uh, electric meter can uh, change our lifestyles and how we can get smart. So, I'm just showing you the things like I met it in Bangla because most of the uh, our uh, I am working with the Palibidu Shamiti, so our uh, users or uh, villages are actually uh, they are very uh, heavy with the Bangla, so I did it. So if will uh, this this online uh, electric meter is actually uh, IoT product IoT device. How it can be? If will, when uh, the traditional meter was like, the, that is uh, the postpaid or prepaid meter, like prepaid meter. So when this meter was not connected with the internet or any communications, then it was only a static meter. So this electric meter can only uh, deduct the uh, consumption rates and all these things, but it can smartly uh, can send any messages to the consumers or the administrators of the uh, utility departments. But this, uh, when we connect these meters with the internet, then how it changes the uh, scenario? Like this meter, because you know we. We already know that the things that we, in our uh, country, there are some slabs are there. For first slab is 100 uh, con uh, um, unit, then uh, 200 unit, 400 unit, 500 and 600. And that the rates are also in different, different. Or th that means when uh, the rates are uh, higher, then the consumption is also higher. So if we can, we the consumers can know that this am uh, is going to uh, passing that sort of slabs. That means like uh, is last slab is around eight eight taka or uh, nine taka something like that. But unconsciously we are using this sort of uh, uses because if I know that my uh, meter is now running on uh, six slab or four slab or fifth slab, then I can just conscious and I can just uh, talk with my uh, family members. Okay, you just make something last three, last ten days. Uh, you don't need to uh, run this two or three uh, ACs. You just can uh, share uh, share some something like that, and then you will be uh, reduce your electric bill and as well as the consumptions. What happens to this? Thing? So I just uh, you feel that uh, our Terry, um, our meter, they have the slabs, and in each slab, when the meter passes the slabs, this is the uh, meter which is intelligently send the SMS to the consumer. You are passing your these slabs, and now your rate is 
something that. So the user or the consumer will automatically, by knowing this awareness things, he uh, reduces consumptions and all, if I, I, I can just show you another, uh, yeah, uh, data is that when, uh, if this uh, meter can reduce the 15 units only for a single con consumer, how we have already 2.3 crore consumers as there. So you can save a lot because it can also save around 209,000 uh, crore taka per year. Only to awareness, only to send some uh, SMS to the consumers because they, they, they don't need uh, uh, to do anything or something like this, only that awareness. But what did this? This meter is doing these things. This meter is smart. He is just uh, making his uh, all calculations and just uh, passing the uh, SMS to the, them. So, another thing is uh, this is meter tempering. So, this is an administrative things. You know, I know the. Uh, we, we always uh, know that the uh, in 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 and different uh, areas like uh, rural and others, some someone try to temper the things or bypass the meters so that you don't need to pay uh, more and things. But this smart meter have built-in smart sensors so that when uh, the meter is tempered, the meter is open then smartly this meter send an SMS to the uh, utility administrator that this number of meet, me, number meter, or th that is there is a unique number, n is tempered. So please uh, go and uh, take action against him. So this is very important thing because uh, right now, uh, what we have to do? This utility department is, uh, the people are going uh, through their bikes and all these things. Uh, to catch that sort of uh, uh, tempering. And a lot of expense, a lot of uh, efforts are there to this. But still, if uh, we use this that sort of meter, then they don't need to do anything. This meter smartly can uh, detect this uh, tempering, and they can solve these things. So it, these are the actually uh, advantages for this sort of IoT products. So balance research already uh, our keynote respect says, but I am uh, telling you here that this uh, we don't need to go uh, for the um, utility department head office or the banks or something something like this to get a big queues and all these things. But this meter, if as this meter is connected with the internet, that means IoT product, so I can. Uh, load this balance from my uh, apps, from the uh, laptops or uh, uh, mobile apps, something like that, and it will be recharged. So lifestyle is also changed because we don't need to go for these uh, queues and all these things. You can go to near, near your shop and uh, oh, you can load these things. So that is also change our life, life things through only the, origin, the meter which was there, only now I connect it with the internet. And intelligently, this meter did all these things. So another one is as uh, uh, we have the meter, the uh, intelligent meter, they, they also have something like that. Is it, uh, they have the transformer number, they have the uh, feeder number inside there, uh, the, the database is there. So, as I, I feel, uh, one transformer is connected with a feeder. And this feeder is also connected with another, some 10 transformers. So, each transformer connected with uh, f two or four, uh, four uh, m meters. So, all the meters are connected and all the meters uh, transformers are connected with a single network. So this 
to manage the whole uh, network things or four meters, only a single uh, control panel can be enough. And someone is uh, getting the things, all data, whether now uh, the, what is the load calculations, what is the um, yeah, transformer loads, what is the uh, feeder loads, everything can be grabbed instantly, which is only connected as this meter was connected with these things, then I can get it. Unless it is when this meter is standalone, then I can get anything. So these are the actually uh, real life uh, um, uh, features that uh, we can get. Uh, the load management system is also uh, included there, so that if any 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 person can start with a, a big load, then the meter will shut it down. So nobody can start uh, a big load with the uh, through this meter. So what happens there? Because in mostly we know that in, uh, in v uh, villages or some something like somewhere, this. Uh, connected transformer is usually burned through the overloaded. But when this smart meters or is connected with the uh, transformer, then the, when they will uh, try to connect the higher load, the meter will automatically shut down. And as this meter will shut down, then the transformer will not be burned. So uh, look, these things is, uh, sh is normal meter. So there is no uh, mechanism to shut it down or something like that. So the, when this uh, three kilowatt power pump is connected with these things, the meter, uh, the transformer will be burned. But when we connect with our smart meter, then what happens? Uh, when this uh, t three kilowatt motor try to start it, then this particular meter will be uh, uh, cut it down, and then the all uh, load will be remain same, so that the transformer will not burn. So these are the features actually uh, to this uh, meter, and uh, some some sort of uh, data is there. If uh, we can just use that that sort of meter, then uh, yearly uh, three thousand four hundred uh, five hundred and four crore taka can be shastrai uh, only. Mm, only to uh, awareness uh, from the uh, mm, meter. And also uh, from the balance, they will get uh, 5,400 5, crore taka. Oh, uh, f sorry for uh, in, uh, not supporting the fonts here. Uh, so uh, and, uh, the, for, for, for another one, the, the, the transformer uh, burn, there, there should be 24 crore Taka should be um, safe from these things. So sorry for these things. The, uh, my uh, my uh, font is not supporting for these things. Uh, so uh, these are the actually utilities and uh, f uh, the advantages for these smart things or smart meters. So uh, IoT. So uh, I just conclude in that that thing that IoT. When this meter was not in IoT then the, all the advantages was absent there. But when this meter is only connected with this uh, uh, internet, and then that sort of very big amount of monies and all these things by lifestyles can be changed through these things, only to get it on, uh, connected with the IoT pro, uh, internet. So that this internet of things, IoT, can change in everywhere, not only this power sector, in everywhere can change a big uh, volume of uh, advantages like that. So this is uh, actually a short things from me. And thank you all, thank you.